I know a lot of you buy some spirit bottles sometimes just to make one specific cocktail. And I know it happens a lot with Pisco. Like you bought your first bottle of Pisco to try the Pisco Sour and you love it, but then halfway through your bottle, you start wondering what you could do next with your bottle. Well, if it's your case, I'm sure you're gonna love today's episode because I have the perfect cocktail for you. And speaking of cocktail, you know, I get a lot of comments that are just straight up, quote, cocktail. I thank you very much, pronunciation police. I know, I'm a francophone doing my very best to speak in English in my video, so these things, they happen. But if it's your thing, if you want to let me know what errors I've made in my videos, feel free to roast me in the comments and just boost the algorithm. You're gonna be happy, I'm gonna be happy. Best of both worlds. That being said, the cocktail that we're gonna make today is the Chulin, another Pisco cocktail that predates the Pisco Sour. It is equally tasty, it is very simple to make with a super easy to find ingredient list, so there's nothing not to lie. So without further ado, my friends, if you guys are ready, let's make the Chulin. Let's go. All right, so speaking of pronunciation issues, my friends, I'm about to say some Spanish words, so I'm probably gonna butcher some. You've been warned. That being said, the Chirulin is a cocktail that was created in Peru in a city called El Ingenio and has a strong and rich history in sugarcane and wine production during the colonial era. It was originally made as huge punch served in pitchers and enjoyed during the patronal feast of the Virgin del Carmen in August. The classic recipe consisted in pisco, pomelo, cinnamon tea, and sugar syrup. But as we don't have a precise recipe for the specs, the recipe evolved over the years and now we don't really have a clean standard. So the recipe I'm going to share today is simply the one that I feel is the most balanced and tasty. For the ingredients, we're going to need pisco, freshly squeezed grapefruit juice, freshly squeezed lime juice, cinnamon syrup, saline solution, also known as salt and water to make the flavors pop. And then for the garnish, this is my personal touch, but I like to create a little bit of lumi on top of the cocktail that really going to enhance the bright and citrusy aroma of the cocktail. It is fantastic. If you want to know how to make the lumi, you know, I've already covered that on the channel. I will always have you back and the video is going to be linked up here. Now before we dive into the cocktail, two things. I want to talk about the cinnamon syrup and the pisco. So let's start with the cinnamon syrup. There's plenty different ways to make cinnamon syrups and probably the most popular is just infusing cinnamon into hot syrup and it works great. But for me, it is not super consistent. I think it's hard to get the same level of flavor each time with this technique. So because of that, I like to approach my cinnamon syrup a little bit differently. I love to use tincture for my cinnamon syrup. That way the flavors are consistent from batch to batch and also the little ABV that we add to the syrup makes the shelf life of it a little bit longer. So it's a win-win if you want to know how I make my tinctures and my syrup. Again, the videos are going to be linked up here. Now let's talk about the pisco. I think to make the best chirulin, you're going to need a pisco that's acholado. If you don't know what that is, it simply means that the pisco is made with different varietals of grapes, so it's more complex and more flavorful. Speaking of which, Peruvian pisco are distilled only one time in comparison to Chilean piscos that are oftentimes distilled twice. So by definition, that means that Peruvian piscos are tastier. And also, this is a Peruvian cocktail, so I think it's pretty cool to choose a Peruvian pisco to make it for a more authentic experience. But don't hold back from making this recipe just because you don't have the exact pisco, I recommend it. If you have a bottle at home and you like it, use that and you're gonna be happy. But if you have to go and get a bottle just to make this recipe, follow my recommendations and I'm telling you it's gonna make for a tastier cocktail. Now let's build. So we're gonna start with two ounces or 60 ml of pisco in our cocktail shaker. Then we're gonna add one ounce and a half or 45 ml of freshly squeezed grapefruit juice, one full ounce of cinnamon syrup, and just half an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. A lot of recipes don't call for the lime juice, but I think it's necessary for the balance. Then we're simply gonna add a couple of drops of saline solution. This is a 20% salt to water ratio. So 20 grams of salt for 80 grams of water. It's gonna make the flavors pop and really it makes a huge difference. You won't notice it's there, but if you don't put any, you will miss something. Now we can add ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. We're gonna fine strain this in a rice glass filled up with ice. 
For the garnish, a beautiful grapefruit wedge and a little bit of grated loomy. Cheers. Mm. Wow, I really like this cocktail. It is a beautiful and complex drink, but it's also very simple and straightforward at the same time. I don't know if it makes sense, but for me it does. It is juicy and refreshing. At the same time, you don't lose the pisco. You get all that beautiful complexity from the grape brandy. Then the cinnamon adds a little bit of complexity and a little kick of spice, but it's not overwhelmingly present and it blends super nicely with the pisco and the grapefruit. And the little addition of lime for me is really important to balance the sweetness Overall, it is a crushable drink, super good for summer because it's refreshing, super good for winter because it's a little spicy. Really, it's good all year long. I love it and I hope you're gonna love it too. So my friends, this is it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Before we go, turn that bell if you wanna make sure not to miss the next one. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day. See you very soon. Cheers.